How's it going everybody? This is Eric, your handsome technician at aircompressorpartsonline.com. Alright, this short, sweet video about transfer tubes or discharge tubes. Um, here we have a compressor head, and this is uh, just a head of a compressor for this demonstration to make it a little bit easier, space constraints. And we have a stainless steel flexible discharge tube or transfer tube. Um, essentially, this is a workaround. It's a really nice, uh, more heavy duty, uh, more permanent solution to uh, your transfer tube uh, problem where you, uh, a lot of times you'll have a rigid transfer tube, uh, copper or aluminum, uh, coming out of the di discharge of the head. Um, and it kinks, you know, vibration um, while the compressor running causes, of course, kinks and causes all kinds of leaks. And, uh, you know, that's a problem. You know, if it leaks, compressor runs more often. Uh, to compensate for that leaking and what could wear your pump out, valves, rings, you name it. So certainly want to make sure you have no leaks and if you have a problem with the uh, transfer tube or the copper kinking a, a whole lot or cracking because of heat or vibration, this is an excellent solution. And this um, is a workaround for uh, portable compressors, oil-free units even, um, you know, larger two-stage uh, stationary compressors, uh, but a really great option. We sell these stainless steel uh, braided, obviously, flexible transfer tubes in different lengths, different diameters, and uh, different types of fittings. So uh, anywhere from say uh, about five, seven inches, all the way up to, you know, say a 36 inch long, 48 inch long uh, transfer tube. So essentially what you'll do, um, just simply you know, remove your original copper uh, or aluminum rigid line from the discharge of the head. This is of course the inlet filter side of the pump head. And um, you're going to find these on our website on the main page, um, anywhere on top um, where the tabs are. Click on generic air compressor parts, then click on transfer tubes. You'll see the photo of this, and then steel braided. And we categorize these by uh, first uh, diameter, this is half inch, and of course by length uh, from there. So uh, here we have a half inch diameter. It's our part number EMG145C. It's a really uh, standard type, popular, because you have a half inch male pipe thread on the uh, end that would go into your pump head, into the discharge. And of course on the outlet end to your tank, it's a female flare swivel. Of course it is a female a flare type of connection, but it also has a swivel, to make it a heck of a lot easier to install. And uh, essentially you just want to wrap plumber's tape or Teflon tape around the thread, anywhere, any thread where you'll have air, uh, potential air leak, you want to wrap with Teflon tape or plumber's tape, uh, keep that from leaking. So um, available at any kind of plumbing supply store or hardware store. So first you would thread it directly into the half inch female discharge port on your pump head. Obviously tighten that up, uh, you know, tight but not too tight. And what's great about this is it's flexible. So you don't have to worry about bending copper with a tube bender, aluminum, anything like that. So it's a uh, you know, nylon uh, internally, nylon tube, but surrounded by this nice uh, braided kind of uh, external stainless steel uh, braided material. And it holds up the heat better, vibration will not affect this. It basically will last forever. So a more expensive option, but it's a much better option. And of course, you'll see the female flare swivel here on this end. Uh, this is going to be your check valve in your tank, the fitting in your tank inlet. Um, it's, this isn't a check valve, it's just an adapter uh, for the sake of the demonstration. So this is a male flare and your transfer tubes come with the swivel and these transfer tubes, well, many of them come with this adapter. It's a male flare adapter. This is standard uh, male pipe thread on the end. This, in this case it's 3 8 It could be half inch, whatever you, know, you choose to uh, use and based on your tank inlet size. And this is, uh, of course, a male 5 8 inch male flare. So this right here is a half inch uh, tube, but it's a 5 8 inch male flare that fits into the female flare. So, of course, it mates up to that male, and you would just simply thread it on like so. This would be your check valve in the tank, in reality. And there you go. You have a secure connection and no leaks. You have the ability for this to be flexible and well, you won't have to replace it again. So again, you find this on our website. If you can't find it on the website, email a uh, sales associate or speak to a sales associate by calling in and we'd be glad to help you further. Thank you once again for watching.